Hi there, this is Miss Kendall from Sager Family Farm. And today I'm gonna to be making a resource for teachers. So I'm gonna go over how to create a daily schedule for your students using Google Docs and Google Drive. Um, so the things specifically I'm gonna cover are uh, one, how to create a schedule in Google Docs. So that will cover how to create a new Google Doc and how to edit it, add pictures and links. We're going to also to upload uh, an existing document. So say we have a Word document uh, of our schedule already. I'm going to show you how to upload that and edit it in Google Docs. Uh, then three, we're going to go over how to link to uh, websites as well as worksheets that we might just have on our desktop. So um, number four, then we're going to go over how to upload those worksheets from our desktop and get them into our Google Drive so we can share them with a link just like it was a website. Uh, and then lastly, five, we are going to go over how to export this as a PDF so that we can share it with our students or their parents uh, and they can access all of these wonderful videos and worksheets and songs that we've got for them. If you have any questions, you can go to my website, uh, sagerfamilyfarm.com. And over on the very far right, there's a contact button. My screen is blown up so big so you can see everything that is kind of off the edge right now. But you can click on that and you can send me an email and I am happy to answer any of your questions. So let's go uh, first off over to Google Drive. So up here at the top, um, if you're not at Google Drive, you can just type in drive.google.com and that will bring you to Google Drive. And once you're in Google Drive, I've already got a nice uh, folder ready for this, but I'm going to create some folders just to organize what we're doing. So I'm going to go over here to the new button, click on that, and I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm gonna create a folder for each daily schedule so that I can organize all the worksheets inside of it. So I'm just gonna name this one with the date. Um, it's 2020 and it is March and I'm making a schedule for March 18th. And I'll just call that March 18th daily uh, schedule. And then we'll create that. And now I can see my new folder here is ready for me. So I can double click on that. And now I'm inside of this folder. So if we are going to cover how to create a new Google document uh, and start our schedule from scratch, you can click new Google Doc. And in our new Google Doc, we can create a name for it. So I'm going to call this March 18 schedule. And up here, I'm going to create a title. So March 18 schedule. And to edit that, I can select it. And let's make it bold up here. So up on this bar are all my text editing options. And let's make the font size a little larger. So I can click on this drop down and let's make it nice and big. And then over here, this one will help me align it. So I can right now it's aligned to the left hand side. So let's make it in the middle over here. So now that I've got that, let's add in um, a table so that we can organize all of our schedule activities. So I'm going to go over to insert and then table. And it gives me this little grid here where I can actually draw out the size of the table I want. I want just an itty bitty table with two columns and one row to start out with. So over here, I'm going to type in the name of my activity, which is read. And then maybe I want a cute picture of a book. So let's insert a picture. So we'll go back up to insert. And the first thing is image. Um, you can search the web or you can download images from the web and then upload them from your computer, which is what I did. So I'm going to upload an image that I already have. And I think I called it book. I'm going to upload that. So now I have a nice picture of a book. Let's go ahead and make this text nice and in the middle. And then over here, I can type what I want them to do, which is read three leveled 
books to a family member. And this text is a little large, so why don't I make that tiny bit smaller? That one doesn't need to be bold. And then if I want to adjust the size of this table, I can actually just hover over this middle bar. Uh, and now I can resize the table. So I'm going to click and hold. So I'm dragging it over to the side. And now I've resized this. But my image is still pretty big. So if I click on the image, I can actually just go to the bottom corner. And I can make this fit inside the new table. So that is how to create a table. If you want to add more rows to your table, you can click in the last box. Or if you're over here, if you press tab, it moves you to the next column. And if you press tab again, it actually automatically creates another row for you. The other way you can create a new row is to right click. Or if you're on a Macintosh, control click and go to insert row below. And now it's inserting another row for us. If we've added too many rows, we can select the rows we don't want, right click and say delete two rows. And now we're back down to this nice clean thing. Since we're in a Google Doc, it is automatically saving all of these changes for us. So if I close this tab, everything is still there for us. So it has created this document. And if I double click on it and go back, everything has been saved and is exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about saving. So I'm going to close this tab and I'm going to show you guys how to upload a file that you already have, uh, maybe a Microsoft Word document uh, that already has a nice schedule for you. So I'm going to go over to new and this time I'm going to click file upload. So I have a document already with my entire schedule on it. And I just want to be able to add fancy links to it in Google Drive. So now I can tell the difference. So up here, this one's a Google Doc. And I can see by this icon. This icon down here has a little W in it. That means it's a Microsoft Word document. So if we double click on the document we just uploaded, I can see I've got my whole schedule in here. And right now, it's just viewable. So there is actually an extra step if I want to edit a Word document. So I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to click on open with Google Docs. And once I open it with Google Docs, I will be able to edit it just the same as we were doing before. And I'm going to be able to add some cool fancy links to this. All right. So now I can edit this document. And over here, I already have a link on this. But you can click this little button here to remove the link if you don't want it anymore. Um, you can also, I'm going to do it on this one since I already removed that link. You can also edit the link. So if you want to link to something different, you can change the link. But I'm going to show you how to add one from scratch. So this is actually a, wor a worksheet that I have on my desktop. And I want to be able to share it with my entire class. So first, I actually need to upload that worksheet to my Google Drive so that I can share it with everybody. So let's go back to the tab that has our Google Drive. We were looking at this document. So we'll just go back out of that. And you can click New, File Upload. And then we're going to look for our worksheet. So mine is called I Found 10 Pop Star Words. So I'll click on that one and open it. And now it's uploaded right here. And I want to get a link to this, a shareable link. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click, or again, on a Mac, we're going to control click. And I'm going to click Get Shareable Link. And over here, there's a little pop up and it disappears so fast. Um, that's telling us that it's private and nobody can share it. So Let's right click on this again and say share. And right now it says, oh, anyone with the link can view. So that is good. So actually, this one is shareable right now. If it's off, that means only you are going to be able to see it and the people that you type in here. But we want anyone that we give this link to to be able to see it. So let's make sure that anyone with the link 
can view. We also don't want the setting that anyone with the link can edit. We don't want our other parents to be able to edit this. So let's keep it on anyone with the link can view. So you're going to want to make sure that that is the right setting and that way everyone can see it. Over here, you can actually copy the link as well. So click the copy link and now it's copied to our clipboard and we can say done. And now let's go back to the tab that has our schedule in it. And I'm going to select the text that I want to be uh, the link to the worksheet. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say link down here. And now it gives me, it shows me the text and then the place to link. And I'm going to paste in here. So I use control V or you can right click uh, and paste and say apply. And now I actually have a link to this. So here it's showing me a preview. I can actually click on that link and double check. Yep, that looks like my worksheet. Perfect. So I'm going to close that. And now I have a link to a worksheet um, that's now in my Google Drive and shareable to everyone. So when I share this, everyone's going to be able to see that worksheet. Uh, we can also link to songs this way. So if you have um, a file, uh, like a M4A file, so any sort of music file on your desktop, you can do the same thing. So upload it to your drive, change the sharing settings, and get a shareable link. And then you can change this text to be the link. If you want to link to a website, you don't have to upload anything. So let's go to watch the little red rooster. So over here, we have a nice uh, thing for our students to watch on starfall.com. So we can go to the address bar and select all of the text and let's copy that. So control C and then I'm going to go back to my schedule and this one already has a link. So let's try to edit it. So I don't want whatever it was going to before. I want this to go to the little red rooster so I can now paste and I'll just double check. Yep, that's the website that I typed in and I'll click apply. So, or you can add a new link from scratch just like we did up above. So now we have links to websites and worksheets and songs all together in here. Again, Google Drive has been saving everything for us. So I can just close this, it's already saved. And I can go back now to my Google Drive and I can see uh, the schedule that I was editing, I can see my worksheet that I uploaded and shared with everybody. And uh, now if I want to go back to that, again, to edit a Word document, I have to say open with Google Docs. So now let's go ahead and save this as a PDF. So I'm going to say download as a PDF. So we're going to file, download, PDF document. And now it is downloading this as a PDF so that I can share that with, uh, I can attach it to an email address. So I can write an email to my parents and attach that PDF that I downloaded. So that's now in my downloads folder. The last cool thing uh, that I really like to do is now that you have this kind of template you can copy it. So if you right click, you get this menu and you can say, make a copy down here. So let's make a copy of our schedule. So here we've got a copy of our Wednesday schedule and let's go ahead and rename that to something else. So right click and rename and let's say Kinder Activities Friday, March 20th. And now it's in my March 18th folder. So you can actually just drag this up. These are the breadcrumbs of what folder you're in. So here I'm in the March 18th folder. Here is my kinder class schedules folder. So I can pop it up a level like that. And then I can click on this over here 
And now I can see that that document has moved up here where I can create a new folder for all of my March 20th documents. So I think that just about covers all of the things that we wanted to do today. Again, if you have questions, feel free to send me an email on my website, which is www.sagerfamilyfarm.com. And good luck with your digital students.